What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we'll be going over how you can get 900 gems for a festival Elizabeth banner, coming to global in about two weeks, so let's get into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 25k subscribers, man. At the time of recording this video guys, we are at 20,800 subscribers on the YouTube channel. You guys have actually been showing a ton of support on the channel lately, man. It's been, it's been insane, the sub growth we've been getting lately, so uh, let's keep it up, man. And uh, yeah, in this video, we're going to be talking about how you guys can get the 900 gems uh, to actually pity Elizabeth on her banner when she drops. So let's talk about it. So first things first, I'm going to be pulling up my boy Plumpkin's uh, Reddit post here. So let's actually open it up. Uh, this is going to be the baseline monthly diamond income. This was made two years ago, by the way, just to give you guys an idea. This is very old and a lot of things here are outdated. Like um, just as an example, uh, we'll talk about it. The login bonus has been updated from six gems to 10 gems now. Um, and I can show you guys in Grand Cross as well. Actually, if you go to Elizabeth, like uh, you can see it is actually updated. Um, so this is the regular daily login reward, right? Um, and you can see here, you get five gems here, right? It says five, and then you also get five gems here. So you get 10 a week, basically, right? So taking that into account, um, there are a few things here that are going to be wrong. So guys, take this with a grain of salt when, when you know, calculating your gems, right? Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start at zero gems. Let's going to say you're starting today. You have exactly zero gems. Let's see if you can have enough gems for Elizabeth. This is taking literally everything, uh, the benefit of the doubt, man. So let's say you start with zero gems at this very moment. I opened up the calculator. Um, let's, let's see. Okay. So starting with zero gems, let's say you're in masters five. Okay, so you're going to be getting 91 gems a week with a total of 394 gems on average per month. So with Elizabeth's banner being out for four weeks, that's basically a month's worth of time that her banner is going to be out. And we also have from now till the 7th of, uh, 7th of June um when the banner actually drops from global so because on the 31st we're actually going to be getting the free banner and then on the 7th we're actually going to be getting the anniversary to drop on global so let's talk about it now um if we take that into account okay 394 gems is going to be our baseline monthly so that's the amount of gems we're going to be getting um throughout the month while elizabeth's banner is out so that's the four weeks that, that the banner is going to be out for right so what we're going to do is we're actually going to add the weekly amounts we're going to be adding 91 because we're going to be getting one whole week Right. And then, you know, I'll, I'll leave it at just one whole week because we still, you know, um, if you guys can see the, the week now, we're kind of a little bit later in the week. If, if I started this on like Tuesday, we could kind of calculate like two weeks. Um, but, you know, it is about a week and a little bit. So um, if anything, like what I could do is I'll just cut it in half. I'll do plus 45. OK, just to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Just let's say you started today. Right. You started today and started saving for the anniversary. Five hundred and thirty gems. And that's if you're in masters five okay 530 gems by the end of the anniversary but that's also not including guys the top grossing gems we actually received so if you want to add the top grossing gems right um so let's actually go here and let's add the top grossing gems um right that's gonna be 630 gems and then if you guys don't know already we actually are getting a login bonus through the anniversary where we're getting a total of 300 gems as well there so if we actually add 300 gems because of the login from the anniversary, which is going to be a month long, as you guys can see, four weeks, we're going to be totaling at 930 gems for the Goddess Liz um, banner, for the uh, Bloody Liz banner. You guys can see, man, it is possible to actually get 900 gems free to play for that banner if you start saving at this very moment. So let's give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Let's say you don't have any of the uh, top grossing gems right now. Let's say you spent it on Mono's banner and uh, you actually have zero gems at this very moment. Let's just say you actually had zero gems, but you, you know, you're a little bit more committed uh, to Grand Cross and you want to start, let's say in uh, champion five. Okay. Champion five. Let's give you guys the benefit of the doubt. 429 gems. Okay. So that's how much you're going to be having right here. Um, by the end of Elizabeth's uh, thing, four weeks. Okay. Plus 99. Cause we have one whole week. Right. And then we're going to add plus uh, I'll do 49, right? Because uh, we have about half a week. If you guys can see here, um, we're on the 28th to the 31st. And then we have from the 31st to the 7th. So it's about half a week. And then we have a full week, right? So um, basically, if the if the week um, is going to be 99 gems, we'll just cut it in half, basically, uh, you know, to give you guys like an average, right? Um, so we'll add 49. 577 gems, right? Plus 300 gems from the login. Because you guys know we are going to be getting 300 gems from the login. And as you can see, at a total of 877 gems without the top grossing gems. So this is if you had zero gems at all, man. Completely zero gems. Now, let's say 
um, if you are a little bit more dedicated to the game and you get to champion one in PvP every single week, right? Every single week you get champion one. Let's give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Let's start with 472 gems because that's going to be the average monthly income that you're going to have uh, by the end of the month. So 472 gems plus 109 because that's going to be the amount you get per week. So one week is going to be 109 plus what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 54 because if you cut 109 in half, like on average, right? Um, like if you guys give it the, uh, the amount... You're going to get 635 plus the 300 gems from the login, and you're going to be getting a total of 935 gems without the top grossing gems. That is a lot of gems that you guys are going to have for the anniversary banner. And you guys also have to take into account that because Plumpkin's thing is a little bit old now, and it's kind of outdated, like, you know, the login bonus, as I explained earlier, it's not 6 gems, now it's 10 gems. A lot of these things have updated and increased in the amount of gems you get. Dailies, I think, also have increased as well in terms of gems you can get. And so a lot of these numbers are just, you know, kind of fluff. You will be getting other, uh, you know, a lot more gems, and you should be able to hit pity. Like, like uh, even on my uh, last example here where we did the, uh, the champion five without top grossing so let's say you had this plus 99 um, plus 49 right um, we're at 570 plus 300 like let's say we just like you know um, we added some of the gems that we would have gotten like you know plus four per week so it's 4 8 12 16 so plus 16 gems because we would have been getting um, an extra four gems per login right 893 gems and then if we take if we add dailies you know into account we probably would be getting a little bit more gems and dailies like you could say at the most let's say plus you know 10 let's say or even plus eight so plus eight gems and you guys are literally over the 900 uh, um, 900 mark man like look at that it's crazy right you guys are actually able to get 900 gems free to play even without top grossing if you don't want to uh, add the top grossing in to actually get elizabeth on her banner um because if you guys don't know um elizabeth's banner is going to be out for four weeks from her release and it's going to be 900 gems pity to actually get elizabeth and a copy of her so that's basically uh my explanation on how you guys can actually get 900 gems for elizabeth man um let me know in the comment section below if you guys are preparing for elizabeth or anything like that um and in terms of uh you know getting prepped for her and stuff like that um i'm, all, I'm also going to show you guys uh, another thing um that you can actually take into account as well if you guys have not done the awakened disaster event or any of these slime collab events as well let's say you're just like completely new and you have not done any of these events definitely make sure to do them because that's going to be a lot more gems you can actually get for when elizabeth's banner drops for the anniversary so the awakened disasters event as well is going to be a place you can actually get a good amount of gems as well i think the total amount of gems you can get from this is going to be about 24 gems so you can add that on top of your monthly average income and the amount of gems you're going to be getting to see you know if you can actually get the 900 gems for her there but you know from the looks of it it looks like every player will be able to get a copy of liz if you do plan on you know saving every single gem for her banner and you will be able to get the 900 gems for Elizabeth's banner. So that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.